Hello, my faithful nerdettes and neckbeards, and welcome once again to Pie Crumbs Studios at youtube.com slash piecrumbs. I'm your host, James, better known as Spider with a Pie, and today we're looking at NECA's Pacific Rim Gypsy Danger. It's the American Jaeger from the Pacific Rim film coming out uh, later this summer, I think next week. Totally going to go see it, and it's going to be badass. I mean, giant robots versus giant monster alien things, what's not to like? I like, uh... You can definitely tell this is the American one. It's got the red, white, and blue color scheme. It's more of a more of a steel blue. I like it. It's got a very good paint app. You can see kind of the detail, some flecking. Not really flecking, but speckling in here. A nice wash on the knuckles to make the details pop a little better. The line art on it is really crisp. Really solid sculpt, really good paint app. It lives up to the typical NECA quality that I have come to love and appreciate. We get into the articulation though. It does falter a little bit, but it still holds up. I like it. You can still get some good poses with it. Um, first gripe. The head is on a really tight ball socket, and because of the cowling back here, uh, you don't get much range of motion. Uh, show off the back of the figure. Most Transformers that I do, you can't show off the backs because there's usually like huge chunks missing and whatnot. But not here. You got some exhaust ports, I'm guessing, and I'm going to pretend that these are thruster packs. I'll figure out what they are when I see the movie. Just really nice amount of work showing off the uh all the workings on here so it's why i forgive a lot of the articulation shortcomings because of how just well they did the sculpt on it uh ball socket on the head like i said uh ball socket shoulders that are still a little bit hampered because of the armor cowling but thankfully these are bendier so you can still kind of pull the arm back a little bit more and be like Go America, yeah! Hinges in the elbows, but that's it, right there. There's no swivel, which I would have liked to have seen. Ball sockets in the uh, in the wrist. Got a pretty good range going there. A nice ball socket there in the chestal area. So you can get some dynamic, like, you know. You know what I like. Uh, got a swivel here. And it's also on a hinge, but the hinges on this are all really hindered by the armor on him. Uh, you get a nice, you get a better range of motion here in the knee, but again, no knee swivel. Which seems like there would have been a couple easy choices to put it in there. But the feet are really nice. You get a nice wide foot that actually has a joint in the back of it. And it's on a ball socket with a really, really good range of motion. So you can make him... You know, make him look like he's doing squats or something. Or the running man. I guess that was more of the electric slide, but I don't I don't know. I'm not into these dance craves crazes. Who craves dance? I know who craves dance. Michael Flatley, the Lord of the Dance. As you can see, he's just a little bit bigger. Well, now he's a lot smaller because he fell down, you drunk. Guess you just earned the right to be called a Jägermeister. He's a little bit taller than the Springer. If you haven't checked out my Springer review, I highly recommend you check it out. Besides being an awesome figure and me really wanting to, you know, hear what you thought about the review itself, I also have a poll going on that you can vote on in the comments there for my next Transformer review, 
Will it be Bludgeon the Samurai Army Tank or Shockwave the Sadistic Scientist? And if you don't feel like posting in the comment section, you could always go over to at S314DER on Twitter and send your vote there. But you're already here on YouTube. You should go and click that link to go see the Springer video and vote in the comment section there. Overall, I would say uh, get the get the Gypsy Danger figure if you are uh, you know a fan of NECA sculpts and you know robots. I like giant robots. Chicks dig giant robots. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Until then, be safe. And take it easy. I'm out. Ha <laughs> ha